Resistance nurtured a parallel vein of denialism and anti-science across the planet. Within their society, a sense of depression and anxiety grew as piece by piece science began to hint that there was indeed something very special about their home. Some of this anxiety was countered by just sheer denialism, but at the same time the underground use of narcotic compounds grew in popularity to provide a momentary reprieve. Amongst these, most potently, chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs, had a unique and effective numbing effect on the imin brain, with apparently no side effects. This led to their eventual legalization and ultimately ubiquitous use across imin society. This wonder drug soon found use in many parts of industry too, particularly for refrigeration and aerosol propellants thanks to its low flammability and toxicity. CFC production and use saw an unprecedented rise during these years and was aggressively marketed in hope to quell public anxiety. Yet, even numbed, the obsession for life in the universe was so strong that it dominated Imin culture by now. Across the planet, many states began to impose that schools cannot teach that there's anything unusual about the Imin home system, that it must be typical and life was therefore surely common, just waiting to be found. Eventually, the mediocrity principle became a central dogma of the educational system, but in quiet moments, many Imin scientists would admit to despairing the forceful ignorance of the growing contrarian evidence. For by now, their astronomers had discovered that planets like their own were, in fact,